two, three. Today, I am going to be building a makeshift box to put a, well, until my other screens get here, I got ordered, but right now I'm making do. I'm going to be putting this screen in a box away from light as the emulsion dries on. And then I have a light that I'm going to be put back, putting back in the box with the image that I want burned onto the screen to actually use that image to screen print a t-shirt today and see how it will, see how it goes we'll see what 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 how this turns out because I'm not going to wait till my other equipment gets here I want to learn this process get the down pad of one color first in order to see how it, how it works so I'm going to be screen printing on a black t-shirt and if it looks good I'm not Screen print about three or four and give them away. My lens was fogged up. So I'm going to be screen printing uh, about three t-shirts today and uh, record the whole process on how this is going to go. It's, a bit, it's, it's the beginning stages of something big. And um, we'll see what happens. All right. I'm going to, I just got up, I overslept a little bit. I stayed up last night while watching content on the process of processes of everything. And let's see if these teachings has paid off. And in the process, I've also found out some other things, interesting things. I'm going to be printing off some of my prints in a, uh, probably multiple, you know, stages to create a uh, wall image and I will once that's done too so I've got a lot of things I'm, I'm going to be doing and trying to <clears throat> use my photography and the art of screen printing and t-shirts to get money to second street and uh, let's see what happens first stage first is Let's go get this box constructed together to where it's dark and I can, because the first step is getting the screen with emulsion on it and then burning the image and then washing it and then letting it dry, uh, prepping the t-shirt and then laying the ink. Let's see what happens out here trying to get some parts for a hose to spray off my screens and a light fixture to put a floodlight in to burn the image to the screen figured I'm only going to be on there just for a few minutes so I'm going to try to use a rig up setup Anything to get what I need tonight done so I can test this out and actually have... Golly, why is it so... Blowed out. Hit, hit a button. And try to get <clears throat> this going tonight. I'm not doing it tomorrow, I'm doing it tonight. <clears throat> and I got to have the stuff to do everything with. It's going to take me about two hours to actually set this up properly to start screen printing a, a nice little shirt. I'm trying to think if I need anything else while I'm already out here. I need some more screws to screw put this box together better. I'm just using I gotta have some kind of glass to put the actual screen on so I'm gonna be using a yeah I say rig up. It's going to be a rig up job, but I'm going to do it just to get what I can until my equipment gets here. I'm going to be using a storm window on top of a wooden box to put a light underneath to actually burn the image to the actual screen itself. My shop is already dark, <clears throat> so while it's burning, I'll be doing something else 
around and I gotta let it cure also before I actually even burn the image to the screen. <sighs> I think this is it. I guess I need to go to the other side and get some screws. Anyways, let's go to the other side of the, sh the garage and see if there's any screws I can use to tighten this box up a little bit. to find some screws. Tomorrow I'll be going to a store tomorrow to get an actual lamp that goes in there, uh, proper glass. Which I'll be going to a hardware to get it. And uh, this is what I'm going to be, <clears throat> what I'm making is, in a, is a screen exposure unit to expose the image to actual, to the screen that I need to screen print with. And so I'm building that to do me until I can afford to actually pay for an actual uh, exposure unit because those are not cheap. And everybody else starts out rigging up things to actually make it fit right and do for them until, you know, the you know, old saying is baby steps. Yeah, yeah, some things you can buy and it it will work and it'll, you know, you got you could buy all the top notch of everything. But that does not say that you cannot do it because you ain't got the money to actually make it happen. It's called improvise. You want that bad, you will do what you can to make sure it happens. I know some people and I've actually also, uh, follow some people also that started out the way I am trying to start out. They started out in a little garage and all makeshift everything equipment. And now they are huge. And it's called determination, persistence, and how much energy you're willing to put into it. If you're a little willing to just put just a little bit of energy into something, you're only going to get a little bit back, if anything. People snarl when you say that, but let me tell you. Question yourself. Where are you at in life right now? And how long have you had to be where you want to be? And from the time that you wanted to do something to now... How far have you gotten? How far have you gotten? If you are still standing in the area and the place where you are now, you was when you agreed upon for, say, a year ago, two years ago, three or four years ago, what you wanted to actually do, and you're still, you might have moved a little bit, but you're still not where you need to be, it's called you get what you put into life. And if you put don't put enough, you're not going to get enough. I don't settle for just enough. My daddy raised me to be better than that. I'm going to put my all into everything and anybody that I have in my life and anything that's in my life. I'm going to put my all. I'm only going to match. I'm going to match my energy to keep me survived. <clears throat> to keep me going. To keep me doing exactly what I want to do. If I want to do something, I'm not going to listen to so-and-so down the road or, you know, on the other side of another county or somebody else. I've learned this. I've, I've been, I've, I'm not going to be wrong. You know, I'm going, I, I, I did let people get to me. I did let people in the past tell me that this and that and, <clears throat> and then knock me down a few notches. It's called a lesson. When you are given this as a lesson, it doesn't mean go back and go and do it again. You want to be in something in life? Then be something in life. That's all I got to say. Sorry.
I could get all riled up when I get on a subject. And I, I mean, we're really honestly, I'm not sorry for saying the things that I say. It's just because I, I want to see people do good. I want to see people do something in life. Your wishes is not an action. It's a word. You can wish and want all you want to in your life. But that is not going to get you anywhere in life. It's called know what you want and go do it. Make that happen today. You know, everybody, when it comes to the point that they say, oh, that's my New Year's resolution. Resolution is nothing but a word. You know, it's not an action. You're not going to, because chances are everybody uses the New Year's resolution as just a prop. And don't even, 90% of us don't even go through what we say we're going to do in our resolutions. It's a thought for one day and the next day we're back to normal way we were doing the year that it before it changed. Thinking that's enough screws? You think there's something wrong? <laughs> it ain't like I'm putting a boat together. Just putting a exposure box. A Jimmy rigged exposure box. All right, I got my screws. Oh, I've lost. Okay, I've got the stuff for the hoses for my sprayer to spray the emulsion off. Okay, well, while I'm here, I'm going to turn this light off too. Oh, got that unplugged. Let's see if I need anything else. Anyways, all right. This has been on here six minutes. This is going to be a long video. All right, I'm going to get off here, get back downstairs, and put this together. Uh, my bo The box was out in the rain that I was going to be using for the exposure unit, so we had to put it in front of heat and let it dry. And uh, let's go uh, make a rigged-up exposure box for screen printing. Well, that ended well. And I have a water hose. I have a sprayer to spray the emulsion off. But this is a start. I'm going to clean this sink up too. This is where i got to rinse my screen out with. Alright. Now i got that project done. <coughs> Let's see if this box will fit there. Alright. So this box is going to be my exposure unit. Yes, it's Country Five's Jimmy Rig. But right now, tomorrow, I'll have the right stuff to build. I'll have, still going to use the box. But here is where I am going to... Oh, got my hand up. The glass. Storm slash storm window. But hey, like I said, this is just the start. I'll get the real things here soon. A lot of it's coming in, but I need, I'm very impatient when it comes to, I want to test something now. I mean, now is what I want, and that's what I'm going to do. I've got this uh, little light that I'm going to put the floodlight in with hopes that it should carry the current just right to this light for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I don't need this, I don't need this clamp on here, I'm just going to take it off, I don't need it, take it completely off here, I don't need this. And then, bulb. 
need light to expose the image. There you go. Light on. So what I want to do is I'll raise this box up. Neck and shoulders aren't acting too well tonight. This is gonna be to do this right here and down inside the box find something that will hold this in place try to figure something out here look I know this is kind of like really like sketchy and looking and everything but if I can get an image burned in this, I'm going to do it tonight. Uh, so whatever I use in this is not why I'm going to permanently do this. So with trial and error, eventually comes perfection. So I've got that, the box. I'll have another lamp tomorrow, a real light, a uh, real piece of glass. And it'll be on the stand that I need underneath to produce enough light to burn an image. Right now, I'm going to use probably two cans of paint to hold that lamp up. So that way I can have that light directly on that image. And then i got to find something that will cover that so that way it will keep all the light from escaping, I guess. So, we'll see what happens. Crap. I think I forgot to push record on that one. Anyways, there's the... Uh, cans of paint with the light inside. <laughs> uh, time to push record. And there is my exposure box. So now I gotta figure out the time that will I've got to figure out the time that it takes to expose an image and uh, we'll see what happens. Will it work the first time? Maybe not. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, let me get everything else situated and I'll be right back. All right. I got all that set up. And I got to find a package that I got a few days ago that never did open. These are my, I think these are small, 8.5 by 11 waterproof silk screen positive films. That's why I'm getting a wide format printer so I can print much bigger images, everything and anything. God, I'm going to hate this stupid freaking, <clears throat> they definitely packed them with fully with packing peanuts, oh boy, this is gonna work out good. And they always pack it to where they fall out everywhere. Like it's supposed to be fun or something. Oh. Okay, here is the FN ink, high quality. It's mink. Plastic sink. That was it. I want to think that was it. I'll just ship them back. All right. This is. Let me some light on the subject here. Ah, oh, there we go. Black 
tub. Believe me, I'm going to get more of this. Again, I'm doing testing. I don't want to spend a whole lot of other money. Then we got the films. Crap. Don't want to rip this. That must be the side you print on is a little more different than the back side's more slick. All right, okay. So I got these three items in today, or not today, but about four days ago. Stayed packaged it up. <clears throat> so this is already pre-mixed, and. I like stuff that's pre-mixed because when they were showing other things about how to mix it with the activator, yeah, I don't want to do that. So it's already pre-mixed. And I did find out that if you don't use this in a, in, a, in a certain time period, you can put it in the fridge lid and the, the, it actually prolongs, it actually makes it last longer itself. And so... And is there anything else? It's warm in here. Had to heat up and it's not even cold out. It's crazy. We just got a snowstorm. Missing. Okay, I got that. So I need to clean that glass so that's clear. I don't want any obstruction or anything in that. And then I have to turn the lights out, put some dark light on, and put the emulsion on the screen. Which I don't have my freaking my emulsion scoop that I got to have to put the emulsion on there with. I need a scraper. Be right back. Ha ha. And I'm back out in the garage. I'm going to have to use that. I know. I need a motion scooper, which it is on its way, but it won't be here till next week. No. This week, I think. Yeah, this week. Coming. This week coming. So I'm looking for some gloves. I guess I'll just wing it, hopefully. <laughs> All right, back downstairs. <clears throat> Let's get this screen with the motion on it and get it burned. So anyways, we'll continue this video tomorrow, and I will see you in the next video. You thought it was going to be a, a long video. It's already a long video, and I wasn't going to allow it to go any more than this. But anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and have a wonderful night.